we first found out HD was in our family, um, I think it was three years ago. Um, 2006. Was it? Yeah. Are you sure? Wasn't that I ago? think it was when I was about five. Yes. Maybe four years ago. Right? Um, <laughs> we, um, we, we weren't aware of HD before that point. Um, they, the doctors think that Meg's dad um, must have had it. He, he, he died in his early 50s. Um, Cancer. Yeah. So, so really it was a complete shock to us. We didn't know anything about the disease before then. Um, obviously we, it's a very steep learning curve. Um, I didn't even know HD existed before I knew Mummy had it. I was quite young. I don't think we've ever kept it from the girls. I mean, they were actually there at the time when Meg was diagnosed in the, in the same room. Um, and we've never, you know, felt that we, we had to keep it from them. Um, the first time we, we went to the Hampshire branch meeting of the HDA, um, we didn't take the girls because we, we weren't um, sure what we were going to, you know, quite experience there. Um, but from that point onwards, they've, they've been to branch meetings, um, we've been to lots of social events, um, and obviously mixed with, with people with, with HD. Um, so I don't think there was a conscious decision to tell them or not, it's just something that, you know, we're kind of uh, grown up with since, since the day we found out, really. We gave flower, you know, for, you know we sent for some of the, you know, the, a booklet that they, that flower read, didn't you? Yeah. And they explained it to children. Yeah, I think our reaction straight away was to try and find out as much as we could about it. Um, I know perhaps some people want to do the opposite, but um, we kind of felt we needed to know. Um, and the kids all along have been part of that. There's never been a um, decision to keep anything from them. I think because it came as a bit of a shock to ourselves, we didn't really have any build up to it really. Um, like I say, the children were with us at the actual appointment where Meg was diagnosed. Um, I'm not sure if you were listening at the time. Were you? Um, I don't think I was, I wasn't no, really it was probably interested. probably all a bit too... Boring. Boring, yes. We were obviously a bit nervous about how the kids were going to um, feel about it all after after finding out, but there was certainly no effort to keep it from them. There was um, no problem when we found out. I don't no. even remember you telling us. Well, I don't Neither think I. we did tell you, kind of, officially. I think it's just, you know, it's something that we've lived with, so um, it's been part of daily life, part of conversation. I don't even remember um, Mummy getting his tea, but she has it. No, well, it kind of builds up, doesn't it? Kind of. Yes. So it's difficult to pinpoint when someone gets something like that. It just happens over a long time, doesn't okay. it? Okay. We just kind of found out by ourselves um, when they took us to the group. I just heard something. Um, they talked about hasting and they said Huntington's disease. And then we asked Daddy, does mummy have Huntington's disease? And hopefully, I can't remember, I said yes, and if you've got any questions, you can ask me. But then you didn't really ask me many questions, did you? Oh, no, not really. No. And and the book from the HDA, the little yellow book, was very helpful. I think we, oh, we, we got hold of that, yes. Huntington's as well is a disease where it affects your brain, and your brain is a bit like a computer, and your brain sends messages <laughs> around your body. So it doesn't work properly if you've got Huntington's disease. And I think that's word for word, actually, out of a book. Um, and I do know, Flo, the school told me that you know a lot about Huntington's mm. and that sometimes you, you've looked things up on the internet yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Can you remember where you found information? 
Not really, so it was probably quite a while I did that. OK. Yes. So you can see we've been fairly self-sufficient in finding out about it. I don't remember how I felt. I it don't, was ages ago. I didn't really understand because I was only little. I was only a toddler. When, when you went to the first branch meeting, I don't know if you can remember, but did you feel worried because there were some people there with with Huntingdon's? I was quite scared because everyone was going, was doing jerky music and I was like, what's happening? Ah. I think that was the first time, you know, we, we'd all seen people with um, more advanced Huntingdon's. Um, so that made you a little bit Scared. Worried, scared. Yeah. Yeah. When you go to branch meetings now and you see people with Huntington's, do you still feel scared or not? No. no. Um, because we've gotten used to it and we've seen it before and we've kind of learned a bit more about why they're doing it and what's yeah. happening. I don't think we, we ever formally kind of brought the subject up with the girls. Um, we didn't normally talk about it as a family. No, but I hope you felt that you could have asked me. You know, we've never sort of had a formal sit down and let's all talk about it type of thing. Um, you know, the girls have picked up You've never had that for anything. No. Well, we're more informal than that. It's not a branch meeting. Sometimes you, you come out with a question out of the blue about Huntington's, don't you? Well, yeah. talk, um, when we're talking about something more has nothing to do with it, I normally just ask a question. Exactly, when I'm least expecting it and least prepared. Um, I, so, I normally go in your face and say, Daddy! Yes. And ask the question. Um, yes. yes. Surprise, it would be a bit odd and we wouldn't know what was going on. I'd be quite surprised if I get it when I'm older and I had no idea about it. Would you feel it would be very strange if we went to things like branch meetings or went to social events and we hadn't told you about hunting dinners? Yeah, it would be very strange. I mean, I think you kind of feel, oh, no, 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 no. you can have this, this great family moment where you talk about it all and you've got all the answers and all the rest of it. Um, but life never sort of works like that. Um, and I think, I mean, I hope the fact that Ellie and Flo seem to be, you know, reasonably relaxed about it and able to talk about it the way they are. Um, I mean, that kind of kind of makes me feel good as a, parent that, that um, you know at least our, at least the way we've done things has worked for us um, I'm sure there'll be lots of times in the future maybe where things get a bit more stressful but um, I think the attitude is just to try and get on with things and um, you know be honest um, try not to let it sort of get in the way of, of carrying on with your lives and having having a bit of fun. Yes, I think we certainly are. Um, I think we, we, it'd be incredibly difficult to sort of operate as a family without having told them. Um, and the way we've done it seems to have worked for us. Um, obviously everyone, everyone's different, every family's different. Um, so it may be that you know, different approaches work better for other people, but I kind of felt that we were all fairly open and honest with each other, um, and it was best just to um, have it out in the open um, and let the girls ask the questions whenever they want to. Um, and I think it's 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 worked for us fairly well.